Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. If you're not familiar with who I am, my name is Diani Neves and I'm a Christian blogger, influencer, mentor, and mouthpiece for the Lord, which simply means that I share the words that God gives me for my brothers and sisters in Christ. What I'm currently recording, okay, the video that y'all are watching right now is a... It's a follow-up to the video that I'm about to show you guys in a few minutes, okay? God did something in my life and it was unexpected, okay? I was not <laughs> I was not really expecting it at all. And um the day that this happened, the day that this breakthrough came to pass, I basically spontaneously had pulled out my phone um and got on Snapchat and was just recording myself i wasn't planning on uploading it i wasn't planning on showing it to anybody because what i like to do is record myself talking about the things that god is doing in my life kind of like little video diaries so i wasn't dressed like i would have dressed um to share it it was very impromptu but while i was getting ready to record after i had pushed the record button or tapped it rather god put it on my heart you're going to share this because i was literally crying okay i looked a hot mess i sounded a hot mess and the holy spirit said this is real this is raw and I need you to share this with your brothers and sisters and show them that I am faithful, that I keep my word. And um, so that's what you guys are about to see. I'll probably end up recording something else to just talk to you guys a bit more about what God did at a later time or maybe even after that clip. I'm not 100% sure, but I just felt God telling me to record this as like a precursor to what you guys are about to see. So that's why what you're about to watch may feel like it's a bit all over the place because I wasn't expecting to share it with anybody. I wasn't expecting it to be seen. Um, but this is just me being obedient and letting you guys know that the word that God had me put out at the beginning, not the beginning, but April 12th or 13th, I received the word on the 12th and then I released it past midnight. So it was released on the 13th. Um, that word came to pass in my life. And like I mentioned in the video that y'all are about to watch here in a little bit, I did not think it was going to, I really didn't. I did not want to believe that it was going to apply to me because I was so jaded and I was so disappointed from certain things regarding this situation in my life in the past. But when I tell you, when I tell you that when God does it, he does it fast, okay? I wish I could share the details with y'all, but I can't, not yet. But I love you all and I pray that this video blesses you and encourages you. What just happened, I... God is so faithful. What happened just now, like I have been praying for for months and I truly believed it was never gonna happen. I was so discouraged. Look at these little birds. I don't even know if y'all can see. Yeah, right there. And God said weeks ago in the word that he had me release, he said, give me one month to turn the situation around in your favor. And at the time, I did not want to receive it. I was like, nah, that can't be for me. Boom, boom, boom. I think I was wearing this exact shirt in that word. That is so crazy. I did not plan this out. And today, like it did not happen the way I expected. It. I was not thinking about this, that the thing that he did. Obviously, I can't share it because um, he's not releasing me to. But um, I am like so overwhelmed right now because the entire time he was putting it on my heart, Danny, I'm going to do this for you. This time it's going to be different. I was in my head like, I, I'm not going to say out loud that I'm doubting it, but I'm you know my heart god and i just don't know how it's gonna happen and he exceeded my expectations and it was so beautiful and um i'm so grateful because really i don't deserve how he came through for me i do not deserve it but he is so loving and he is so kind and he is so merciful and he's so gracious and i am so blessed to be able to call him my father like i love him so much and the thing is like a part of that word was surrender to god as he's leading you to sacrifice what he's leading you to be obedient how he's leading you to and watch him turn the situation around in your favor in a month give him a month right it could happen in two weeks it could happen in the 30 days just be led by the holy spirit 
And in my mind, I was like, I'm going to sacrifice this thing anyways, but I'm not 100% sure that that's going to apply to me, like you turning it around in my favor. But I know that in order for me to grow with you, I have to be obedient and I got to sacrifice this thing. I got to walk away from this thing that I've been struggling with. Like, I got to be obedient. And oh, like I just cannot get over how like this thing that I have been praying for, I have been praying concerning, I have been struggling with, right? Like I knew that this thing was the will of God, but I was experiencing so much warfare. I was running, okay? When I tell you I was running because I was just so scared of being disappointed and just not seeing what I was praying to God for and trusting him for, like what he was telling me to expect and what he was telling me was his reality behind the scenes. It was just so hard for me to receive it. I was running and I was getting myself into things I had no business getting myself into. And the entire time that I was running, God was still advocating on behalf of his will. He was still confirming to me what he said from the jump. He was still confirming to me what He'd been speaking to me about the entire time, letting me know, Diani, like, you're not tripping. I need you to surrender what you're thinking and what you're scared of and, and just trust me and pray into my will. Stand on my word, right? Believe the dreams I'm showing you and giving you. Believe the visions. Believe the, the inklings in your spirit. Believe the scripture that I'm literally showing you, confirming that this is me. And he was so patient. He was so patient. Like, oh, bro, he pulled me into a fast. I was not thinking anything of this fast. I'm like, let me just be obedient because God's calling me to fast. Da, 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 woo, woo. And like in my obedience, I was not even thinking about like receiving anything per se. I was just trying to be obedient because I knew that there were things he wanted to do, protect me from, bring to my attention. And through my obedience, so fast, so swiftly, in the, in the matter of like a few days, he did exactly what he said he was going to do. He didn't tell me how he was going to do it, but he did exactly what he said he was going to do. And he turned the situation around in my favor. And this is something I have been praying to see change in for months. I'm talking like 10 months, almost a year. I've been praying and tussling with this situation and God did it in a matter of days and it was so swift it was so supernatural and all he was requiring of me was my faith my obedience obedience is truly better than sacrifice and he truly sees your heart and your intentions and I still wasn't perfect in my obedience but I was trying and I was communicating with him the entire time, letting him know, God, I'm struggling in this area. Help me to release this to you. Help me to choose your will. Help me to choose what you're telling me to choose. Help me to surrender. Like this doesn't feel comfortable, God. Help me to be obedient despite how I'm feeling about it. I'm just here to testify. He is so faithful. I have such supernatural joy right now. Joy that I have not truly felt in months because this thing, this situation was weighing on my shoulders me trying to figure things out in my own strength was weighing on my shoulders oh like I feel like I can breathe again and he is so faithful he made sure to pull me into his peace first he made sure to give me the grace to desire him to the point where I was willing to be obedient first and then not even like just I wasn't thinking about I wasn't thinking about this and he just did it he just did it and he surprised me. He truly surprised me. And I will be so real when I released that word. I was definitely hesitant to fully believe that I would be one of the people who that word would apply to, that I would have a testimony. But God had me standing on the fact that he was going to come through. And I was like, okay, God, like, if you say you're coming through, you're coming through. And he came through. Um, and so I know he's going to come through for more people. I know that other people have testimonies. He's putting it on my heart that there are other people with testimonies. They just haven't shared them yet. And a part of that word, thank you, Holy Spirit. I wasn't even planning on doing this, bro. I was, I do like little Snapchat recordings, like a little Snapchat diary just to record my journey with God, my relationship with him, things that he does in my life. I was not planning on recording anything to share it, but, um, when I started recording, I, I like envisioned myself sharing my testimony and he just reminded me that a part of that word is to share the testimony of what he does for you within that month. This is me being obedient and sharing my testimony. Obviously, he's not letting me go into details and that's for good reason. Y'all will know later on down the road when he allows me to release what he did now, um, which I do feel like will be sooner than I'm even expecting. But 
be obedient, share your testimony. It does not have to be with me, but however he leads you to. Um, and still continue to be expectant because that word expires, so to speak, on April 12th, 13th. Um, so there's still a couple of weeks for that word to play out in the lives of those who it is for. And I am so excited for those of you who it is for because God is moving and he is so faithful and he loves us so much. And yeah, have a great rest of the day or night. Okay, I almost wasn't going to come back and add anything, but while I was um, re-watching the bit that y'all just watched, God reminded me that there's something that he was impressing on my heart to share with you guys and really rather emphasize, okay? During this entire process, which was really less, I want to say it was like a week, all right, where I was really truly surrendering to God this situation and he had pulled me into this fast um, and I was just being led by the Holy Spirit. One thing that he wants me to emphasize is that this was a daily thing of me taking what I was thinking and feeling regarding the situation, regarding everything going on in my life to him. He had me focusing on simply resting in his presence, taking each day as it came, okay? On top of that, he really, really, really wants me to emphasize that even though this thing that he did in my life was a miracle and I was not expecting nor anticipating for it to happen and definitely not as soon as it did, there were still things that he prompted me to do um, out of obedience in order for this thing to come to pass, okay? For example, there was something regarding this situation that he brought to me, okay? So he presented an opportunity and I had to sit with him and really be led by the Holy Spirit regarding how he wanted me to react, how he wanted me to handle what was being presented to me. Because this thing was presented to me in a way that I was not anticipating, in a way that I would not have expected, in a way that I was not planning for it to be, um, there was a part of me that was almost close to rejecting it and basically closing the door on it, if that makes sense. I pray that I'm making sense. So basically what I'm saying is there was room for me and my carnal understanding and my own fleshly, whatever you want to call it, to uh, get in the way of what God was trying to do. I had to really sit and, and think about what God was putting on my heart and not what my flesh was saying based on my understanding of what it is that I was dealing with, okay? I didn't like the way that it was presented 100%. I thought maybe it should be done a different way and God had to pull me out of my comfort zone. I had to partner with him to put my pride to the side and say, okay, I'm gonna do what God wants me to do because clearly he is trying to move in this situation, okay? So when I say that this thing was unexpected, I'm talking about timing. I'm talking about I wasn't sitting and praying for this exact thing to happen the way that it happened. I had to really be in tune with the Holy Spirit and allow him to move as he was trying to and not get in the way of it based on how I thought it should take place, which is why I think it's so beautiful that God had pulled me into a fast prior to this happening. Had I not been consecrating myself, had I not been open to the move of the Holy Spirit, had I not been focused on dwelling in the secret place and focused on just letting him move in my life and had I not truly surrendered, I would have self-sabotaged. Okay, I was I could feel the pull, the tug of, you know, my flesh and what I wanted to happen or what I thought should happen in the moment when it was happening, but by the grace of God, I didn't allow my flesh and my own desires and my own understanding of things to overtake what God was showing me he was trying to do in a specific way. Just because God is coming through for you, just because he presents you with a miracle, just because he presents you with an answered prayer, doesn't mean that he's going to do everything for you. Um, how do I say this? Like, more often than not, God will call for you to play a role in the very thing that you are trusting him for. And this, more often than not, is like a test between you and him to see if you are really going to be surrendered to his way of doing things. Yes, there are so many instances where God will come through with a miraculous miracle and you won't have to do a thing, but there are definitely times where the Holy Spirit will prompt you to respond in a certain way, will prompt you to go in a certain direction, to do a certain thing, to portray a certain thing, whatever the case may be, that goes hand in hand with what he is doing in your life, with the miracle that he is pulling you into. 
okay? And all of the ways in which God moves regarding this miracle that he's doing in your life are very strategic, okay? It is all very strategic. So I don't want you guys to to listen to my testimony and think, oh my gosh, like all I have to do is fast. All I have to do is believe that God is gonna do it. There, it, there came a little bit of work on my end and I, I'm very careful when I say work, but I mean there came me being very intentional with not allowing my own thoughts, my own understanding, my own perspective to get in the way of what God was putting and bringing up in my spirit. There were moments where I had to really sit with myself before saying something, before doing something, and I had to ask myself, okay, Diani, are you thinking of moving in this direction because it feels good to you? Are you dismissing what the Holy Spirit is putting on your heart? Okay, there were moments where I had doubts and I was questioning if it was really gonna play out the way I thought that it was. Literally, like, God presented this thing and I found myself doubting, oh my gosh, like this is too good to be true. There's no way that this is actually gonna pan out the way that God is allowing me to see he wants it to pan out in. Like, not that I knew the details, not that I knew what exactly was going to happen, but there was a part of me that was thinking, oh my gosh, yes, this is presenting itself to me, but there's no way that it's actually going to land. There's no way that it's actually going to stick. And it was in those moments when God had to really um, humble me. He pulled me to really sit with him and ask myself these questions and talk it out with him as opposed to allowing what I was thinking and feeling to cloud my judgment and then act upon what I was thinking and feeling. Something that God often has me mention to Sisters in Christ via mentorship is that we are so often caught up in what we're thinking and what we're feeling and what we're seeing and what is or is not taking place in our lives. And it, it gets so clouded up here. There's so much going on up here and we think about everything all at once. Very rarely do we actually take the time to sit with God and take out everything that we're thinking and feeling bit by bit, lay it out on a table and address it with him in and of itself. We tend to address everything all at once and then wonder why it's hard for us to identify what exactly God is saying concerning a particular thing. So this process looked like me sitting with God and not leaning on my own understanding, but rather really um, being intentional about turning my ear to his voice, turning my ear to what he was putting on my heart and putting in my spirit. He was nothing but encouraging. He was nothing but motivational all he was saying was diani you know my voice you're not crazy i am telling you that this is my will it may not be exactly what you thought it was going to be it may not look exactly how you thought it was going to look but i don't want you to take that and assume that it's not me because it looks different okay a part of this miracle coming to pass in my life there was an instruction that god led me to do that society would look at like oh are you sure that that's really God? Are you sure that God would really use this to bring this thing to come to pass in your life like that? Do, do, do. You know what I'm saying? And I got caught up in that for a second and God had to remind me that I answer to him, that he is the standard. And ultimately, I am not to put him in a box, okay? So I pray that this bless you guys. Let this be an encouragement to you that God is faithful. And when a word applies to you, it comes to pass in your life. God is not a man that he should lie, nor is he the son of man that he should repent and take back what he said. Remember that, okay? And really quickly before I go, if you haven't already, be sure to check out the journals that God had me release. I believe it was a couple of months ago at this point in time. I published them back in November, but then sat on them because I was just dealing with fear and, you know, what are people going to think of me and blah, blah, blah. But God was putting a fire up under my butt telling me to put these out so I finally released them or announced them rather I think in February but anyways there were two that I was working on this is the butterfly diary prompts that are inspired by conversations I've had with sisters in Christ via mentorship there's I don't even know how many in here the prompts do go pretty in depth I'll give you an example of one right here that's titled time to cast your net so there's room for you to answer and you don't have to use the book you could just 
use it in a different journal. I tried to put enough pages in here for y'all who like to write a lot like me to have enough space to pour out your heart. And the second one is called my prayer journal, which this is a sample copy. That's why it has this line here in the center, but it has space for you to document not only um, prayers for people, but also testimonies for the very prayers that you documented prior. This particular journal was something God had been putting on my heart for a minute before I actually started working on it because he had me thinking about how discouraged I get concerning the things that he's promised me and spoken over my life. And then especially through mentorship, he was showing me how deep my faith is for other people concerning the things that he's speaking over their lives and, and I was really thinking about how crazy that is that I have such a hard time believing what God has spoken over me as opposed to what he's speaking over another person and he wanted me to be more intentional one about praying for other people and marking down the things that he's doing in their lives especially as a mentor because oftentimes mentees will rebook and I'll be able to witness what God is doing in in their lives especially when he's had me speak something and then it comes to pass it blows my mind like he never ceases to blow my mind okay so that's really where the inspiration for this one came from and on top of that i think it's it's just important for us to be more intentional about praying for other people and i'm someone who loves to write i'm someone who loves to journal god speaks to and through me significantly in that manner and in addition to that something he's always reminding me of is that writing in and of itself is a prophetic act, okay? And Habakkuk literally tells us that. So he was reminding me of how powerful it is to write down your prayers for other people, to write down what you're expecting to see in their lives, to speak life into them via writing, right? And then to come back and be able to record the very things that God is doing in that person's life not only in response to your prayers, but maybe also the other prayers of people who are connected to them in other um, avenues and atmospheres. But yeah, you can get both of these on Amazon. Like I announced when I first um, made it public that I had <laughs> published these essentially, I did let you guys know that I am led to use Amazon at this time. I am trying to find a different method of publication so that maybe this one can be a little bit cheaper. But as of right now, this is where God has me. But thank you to everybody who has already purchased and shown support. It means the world to little old me. Okay, I'm very, very grateful. That is all I have for you guys today. Remember that I love you. God loves you so much more. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.